Hi, this is Raven. A while ago I did a tutorial on how to respawn the player with a custom loadout. Since then quite a few of you have asked me to do another tutorial but this time getting the AI to have a custom loadout. So basically what happens is for those of you who have not seen the, the previous tutorial these are both playable units and as long as people are playing as them if they die their loadout is saved and when they respawn their loadout is um, respawn with them. The problem lies when only one person is playing the second or however many playable units you have that are not being played with become followers to the playable unit i.e. they become AI. So what happens with AI when they die they respawn, no matter what loadout you've given them, they respawn as the default armor AI. So this one's a marksman. So even though he looks like that, when he dies he'll come back and he'll look like this, which is the default marksman. It's really annoying, um, but I've come up with a solution. Might not be the, the best solution, but it's definitely a solution. So if we just go to the map, you can see here, this is our empty marker respawn point. I've done a video on that if you don't know how to do that. And directly on top of that, I've put a small trigger. And if we open that trigger up, you can see it's only a half meter trigger. So it's just enough for a player to, to trigger it. Or a unit to trigger it sorry um, so in the condition we've got p2 in this list so p2 in that trigger and on activation we're going to activate this sqf i'll go through that in a minute um, and it, we want it repeatable now this trigger is just for p2 and just for um, our respawn point one so obviously if you've got two or three respawn points you want this copy and paste this trigger on every respawn point and if you've got more than one uh, playable slash AI unit you obviously want uh, more of these as well so you want a version for P3 and a version for P4 and the same with the loadout but we'll come to that in a minute um, on the text this is just so we can see it in our list obviously if you don't have that there it's just going to get called trigger and if you've got a big mission you're going to have a lot of triggers so it's best to have it um, have a description on it so that you can easily pick it up especially when you start sticking stuff on top of each other so we could potentially have two or three things here if you try and pick up the one you want you're unlikely to and, and probably pick up something else which is a bit annoying, so always grab it from the list. So close that down. Um, just for demo purposes, you can see I've put two helipads down. Within these helipads are just uh, damage triggers so that I can tell the guy to go and get killed rather than shoot him, because if you shoot him, uh, I think it's two or three times, they then turn on you, which is not helpful for demo purposes. Um, the other thing uh, quite a few people were saying is they didn't know how to um, edit the loadout. I just assumed everyone knew how to do that, but this is um, if you don't. So if you right click and go down to edit loadout, and you can see I've gone to town and give him everything. So he's got a gun. So you go over here, if you, if you hover over, it gives you tool tips. So it's pretty self-explanatory so rifle I've given him a, a marksman's rifle and over here are the attachments for the rifle so again if you hover over so you've got sights rail attachments muzzle attachments and bipods so I give him a sight I've given him an infrared laser I've given him a suppressor and I give him a bipod this is all be relevant um, when we go to the SQF file. 
So I didn't give him a launcher because I didn't go that over the top. Um, handgun. So he's got a handgun and I put a suppressor on it. Uniform. I've given him a half ghillie suit just so he can see some extra bits. I don't know if you've seen the big ghillie suit. You can hardly see anything else. He's got a vest. He's got a backpack. It's a helmet. I've given him a bandana. Again, for the script purposes, so we'll, we'll see that in a minute, but not that he needs it because he's got a ghillie suit. Night vision goggles, which look stupid with a ghillie suit. Rangefinder. Map. GPS. Radio. Compass. And watch. So add what you want. Uh, and also, if you go to uniform, you can then add stuff into the uniform. So again, if you, you hover over site, it tells you. So you've got here magazines, grenades, explosives, and miscellaneous like first aid kits. So you see he's got one first aid kit. He's got one green chem light, two white smokes, and he's got two pistol mags and one um, rifle mag. So kit out your guy exactly how you want him. Once you're happy and he's you've got everything you want on him, then you go down to here and press export. It says here data copy to clipboard. So now what we're going to do is if we go and open up a notepad. So once you've opened up your notepad, just the normal notepad, just go edit, paste. Uh, you can also hold control down and press V. So that's paste as well, whatever you fancy. Uh, and as you can see, it has populated all the gear that we've just added to that marksman. So it's all the proper names, all the configuration names. So you don't have to worry about opening up the configuration file and trying to hunt through there or Googling it. It's all there for you. It's really easy to do. So now if you go to the mission file and open up the SQF file I created, load out P2. Obviously this is um, for P2, but if you've got a, a P3 or a P4, just copy this SQF file um, and rename it. So you've got, you'll have, you know, two or three of them. Um, and in here, I have laid it out in such a way that I'm hoping that it's easy to, to read and follow. Uh, and I've put quite a few notes all over the place. And I've even put notes as to what, what bits you want to change. So I'm hoping it's easy to, I know there's a lot, these SQF files can be really hard to look at. Um, but I'm hoping that, you know, this is not too taxing for you. So the first bit we want to change, look, change unit name, P2. Obviously this is loadout P2, so we want it P2. But if this was loadout P3, change that to P3. Moving on. First bit here, add uniform. So I've just put a note there, change the bit between the quotation. Yeah, so it's this bit here. It's the only bit we want to change. So we'll go over to our notepad that we pasted in. And if we go down to containers, so here we've got uniform, vest, and backpack. So grab that uniform in between the quotation, copy, and paste over the top. It is the same because I have already done this with this guy. So all these bits are the same, but I'm just showing you for demo purposes. So next, add the vest. Same thing, there's your vest there. Add your pack pack, same thing. And then we get to add the guns. So the first one is the primary weapon, like the rifle. So if we go over here, and up here is add weapons. The first line is your rifle. So again, between the quotations, copy and paste. 
the next line is the magazine that it uses so if we go down and we find magazine there it is 20 round magazine primary weapon magazine it's it's quite useful because some of these some of these names are quite useful because they've got like clues within the name which is useful some are not but you'll get to learn what's what so copy and paste the mag and then we've got handgun if you go over here add weapon h gun and then the magazine so add handgun item magazine it's got a mag on the end if you don't want a, a handgun um, then uh, or anything in here if there's anything you don't want added in you don't have to delete the whole line all you have to do is do two forward slashes and you see it turns it all gray that just basically switches it off so if I do that and then anywhere else that handgun items are called up because I might have put a, a, a mag or two in the uniform or whatever just do that and then he won't spawn with a handgun uh, or anything you want to do okay but for now I'll just leave it on so going further down here we've got the primary weapon attachments so again with the names is quite useful so we've got here a muzzle pointer optic bipod so if you go over so there's the muzzle the pointer optic and bipod so copy and paste uh, the next one handgun and the handgun muzzle because we put a suppressor on the pistol didn't we so there's the muzzle handgun item so going down we got add headgear so headgear there it is add headgear so it's this bit here between the quotation this helmet grass uh, add face wear so add goggles it's annoying because add goggles is like the the armor um, script part but it covers things like bandanas and stuff like that so it's not just goggles so I've so I've called it face wear just to so it's hopefully less confusing but so you can see there we've got a bandana um, and it's there add goggles going down add night vision goggles so you can choose what type of goggles you want I've just put the green ones in but if you don't want night vision goggles again do two four slashes in front and here we've got the um, like the slotted items so these are items that actually have a slot um, and, and not they don't go in the uniform or the backpack or the vest they've got their own specific slot so I've got here add the rangefinder but you could have instead of rangefinder the binoculars so you just copy that to there and these these are actually the names so you just literally copy and paste it they're actually the uh, configuration names or the laser designator we've got the item map we've got a GPS but if you wanted the UAV terminal that's what you'd do instead instead of item GPS put that in there got radio compass and the watch um, but instead of the watch you can have the chemical detector but that's just for the um, contact DLC which I've put in brackets and again if you don't want any of these so you know maybe you don't want your guys to have a, a GPS so you just put the two forward slashes in or you don't want them to have a any range finder or binocular you want them to pick it up in the mission somewhere again two forward slashes and then lastly these are additional items so um, you can see here I've put or if you read the first bit uniform so these additional items this item here is going to go in the uniform so we've given a first aid kit 
and then at the end is the quantity so one first aid kit uniform we're going to give him one chem light in the uniform we're going to give him two smoke shells so that's the white smoke grenades now here vest in the vest we're going to add two hand grenades again if you don't want them forward slash if you want to add other stuff just copy and paste and change whatever you want so might be something else you might want you know a red chem light or you might want a red smoke shell smoke grenade whatever you want to call it it's up to you um, I did say lastly but this is lastly the ID um, for a long time I've not even bothered changing this and it just it, it's just like a, a random you should get a random setup um, but I've started creating some missions recently and I've wanted specific looks to the guys you know so obviously if you're in an Asian country you want a, an Asian face if you're a European country you want a European face that kind of thing and and the voice to match so how to set that up I'll just quickly show you go back to armor so we cancel that so if we right click on him and go to attributes and then if we go to identity so the two that you want to play with is the face and the voice so we've just got Collins here that's just who was there by default but if you hover over so if you pick the face you really want so we've got Collins for for instance if you hover over it you can see down there it says whitehead 04 and then if you go to the voice American English 04 so it's got male 04 ENG okay so you might want to go through these listen to them see what they sound like look at the face if you want a specific face and then what we've got here if you've set that before you've exported it it will be here so it's these two bits so whitehead 08 and male 01 eng so if you just replace these two bits that way his identity will always be exactly what you want it to be otherwise it will just be random and that's that um, what I'll do now is I'll show you it working right so I've just loaded the mission up on a private server uh, for those of you who don't know um, you cannot test respawn on the or in the editor so you have to run it on a on a server um, I'm just going to test the uh, the marksman so player 2 as a player just so you can see that the previous script still works um, alongside the new AI script so it, it detects which which you are player or AI. There we go. So I'm player two. Um, got all my gear. So do you remember the AI we did didn't have mines in it? So what I'm going to do is add a couple of mines just so you can see when I respawn, it's different to the AI respawn so I'll go over and kill myself so I don't right grenade here okay so respawn we've only got the one respawn grid one four six one six seven you see I've got all my gear and if we go into the backpack I've got my mines okay so that's the player uh, respawn part working so now we'll show you the uh, AI bit working so now I'm going to play as player one and this player two will become an AI that follows me
There he is. Okay, so we're just going to kill him over here for now. So move up and he'll die when he, he moves in there. Okay, and there he is over here. Respawned with all his gear. So we'll, we'll kill him over here and we'll, we'll see that it's he's still got all the same gear inside. In your own time, mate. I think I'll set him to walk, actually, not run, but... See, he's respawned exactly the same again. And we'll just check. So, look, he's got a rangefinder. He's got the pistol with the suppressor. He's got the bandana. The helmet with the grass. GPS. Night vision, night vision goggles that are green. And inside, we give him one first aid kit. Pistol mag, uh, one chem light, and two white smokes. Uh, in the chest rig, we give him two grenades and eight mags. So there you go, it's all working. Lastly, I thought I'd show you the mission folder and what it should look like. So, description ext, on player killed. On player respawn that's exactly the same as the previous tutorial other than on player respawn I have revamped so it's it's better than it was last time so I'll just quickly show you that if you open it up um, the difference is last time you had to copy and paste so you had to copy and paste uh, this like for every play you had and it was just a bit, a bit untidy and a bit unnecessary um, so now what you have to do is just add your third player or however many up here so comma p3 and then copy this line paste and change that to p3 that's P3 and that's P3 and that's all you have to do and obviously so and so forth however many players you've got so it's a lot better so I want to take it take it from this um, this mission uh, over the last tutorial um, and then we've got the loadout so loadout all you do is copy paste rename Three, open it up, change that to three, and that's it. And obviously, change your loadout to suit. Um, I, what I'll do is I will pack the mission up, and I will put it in my Dropbox and a link in the description. Um, and then that way you've got all the files, and you just copy and paste them into your, your mission. Alright, hope that was helpful. Good luck.